Tara Foley, Championship game against Wexford coming up very, very soon. Um, this year is absolutely flown by, I suppose. Um, it's a game you're immensely looking forward to, obviously. Yeah, you know, as you said there, the year has flown by, you know. Um, it's not, we feel it's not that far away since we started training. But um, no, it's a huge game, we're really looking forward to it. No, things are coming well there at the minute, so we're just Sunday camp coming around quick enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going back to the facts there and looking at a recent interview you've done. I think 2008 was the last time, you know, since restructured the league, it was Carlo's best league performance. So close to promotion. Um, momentum, I suppose, helped by a fantastic result by the Miners recently as well. Yeah, you know, uh, we feel we're coming in off the back of a strong league campaign and the Miners run was absolutely brilliant the last day, you know, and we've been see- seen the Miners training over in Fenn there, same nights as us, and hearing good things back from them, and it was great that they got the win that day, and it's going to lead to a big day out here now, suddenly a week, you know, and we can't wait for it, and I'm sure they can't wait for it either, so hopefully we get a big crowd out. Yeah, it's a big burden that was lifted off their shoulders as well, I suppose, because I think 2012 was the last championship win that, that they had got, and uh, I suppose that takes the monkey off the back now for, for them as well, and, you know, if they got another result, we won't, we won't put pressure on the chaps now, but if they did get a result, you know, world fielders thrown into the senior dressing room could set up a big day potentially. Yeah, no, that, that's the aim. We're aiming for a big day Sunday week. You know, but we can only look after ourselves, and we know the miners have strong players, and I, I, I'd be confident they can get results, and I'd be confident we can get results too. Yeah, you can kind of, I suppose, draw similarities. There's players on that panel that were kind of like yourself that may make that transition to senior very quickly. I mean, you were just out minor in 2010, and you came and you made your championship debut against Wicklow. So, uh, I mean, these guys are, are looking at a really good car of senior squad at the moment as well. And who knows, they could be with you in a couple of years. Yeah, you know... The underage structures in Carlow has been a great change in it there, you know, the Colts and all, and that, this is the first group that's coming through uh, with these Colts, and it's only going to progress on more players, and the more players the better, you know, we feel there's a very strong squad in here at the minute, and the more uh, talented players we can add to that, all the better. What's training been like since that last league game? There's been a huge gap, obviously you go back to play a bit with your club, which was enjoyable, maybe a change of scenery and you come back then, was it kind of... You know, did you work really hard for a couple of weeks and then, you know, kind of just simmer down a little bit as you get closer to the game or what's been going on? Yeah, this was the structure of the GAA. It's a, it's a bit all over the place. You had pre-season at the start of the year and then you play the league and you kind of have to go back to your club then for a week or two and you come back in and sign another pre- mini pre-season. But, you know, we feel Damien Sheen and the management team have done a great work with us there, you know. Everyone's feeling fresh at the minute and it's, it's all good. Um, talk to us about, you know the mood in the camp obviously you're feeling very positive is this the most positive Carla camp you've been involved with yeah you know it's, it's a great mood in there you know even if you had, we're just looking on there tonight everyone's moving well and training and it, it's just it's leading on into it you know everyone's looking forward to this game and we're just going to take it one step at a time um, I'm looking at Stephen Porter out there he's, he's just um, he's just wired the whole time he's so passionate and you know that's obviously filtering through into you guys as well yeah, no, he, he definitely rubs off on one or two of us, maybe in the wrong way sometimes too, you know, but uh, that enthusiasm and that know-how he has in the coaching, it, it's, it's been great help to us, you know, and uh, he, he's a top-class coach, you know, and he's after making a big difference for us. Talk to us then quickly about the opposition, um, you know, they're not too far away from Mr. Nearest and Dearest Neighbours, um, good, strong, healthy rivalry down through the years, you think of, I suppose, 1005 and then that semi-final in 2011, you'd want to at home for that, even though, you know, there's a kind of a different year after emerging, but um, a good, healthy rivalry, I suppose. Yeah, good, healthy rivalry, like we're on our all illusions, we are a serious team, you know, they're very exciting forwards there, and strong midfield, and their backs are not stouches either, you know, so overall, they're a very strong team, and look, they were, they were probably the best team in Division 4 this year. Well, we, we know that we, on our day we can match them and it's going to come down to whoever works the hardest on Sunday week as who's going to come out with the result.